Hello, I'm John Pollock. He is Wei Ting. This is Raw in Three Minutes, where we review a three-hour show in a mere three minutes. Are you ready, Mr. Ting? I'm ready. Raw kicked off from the beautiful Omaha, Nebraska site on Monday night, and we kicked things off at the highlight reel with Chris Jericho going over the recently deceased Mitch the Plant, showing the remnants of Mitch, and this led to an interruption by Big Cass and setting up a main event for later in the evening, and way this show was certainly an endorsement by the company of Big Cass, and I think they have big plans for one Big Cass. Big Cass had a big role on tonight's Raw, and that started off with the highlight reel, where he sounded pretty confident uh, delivering a lot of his lines. So that was the show-long hook they were put into the main event slot. Baron Corbin beat Dolph Ziggler clean with the end of days. Is this the end of program? I would hope so. I don't think there's much more to accomplish with uh, Dolph Ziggler for Baron Corbin. Let's move him on to somebody else. Uh, we had Fandango and R-Truth. R-Truth won that match. Big tag match to come on SmackDown. There was a, a whole situation setting up the IC title match for Extreme Rules where all the participants got involved. Sami Zayn took on The Miz later on in the show, and if he would win, he would get a spot in the match. Charlotte and Paige, non-title match. Shane had banned Ric Flair from ringside for tonight's match, and it led to Ric Flair eventually coming out, and the distraction caused Paige to roll up Charlotte. Paige beat Charlotte, and this was our first of... New Numerous champions losing clean. It started a weird trend on tonight's Raw where a lot of the favorites going into the match would lose as a way to get heat on the uh, other person. And I, I here I didn't mind so much, but on the other two matches, uh, it was too much. Varying degrees of success. The next match, it was the same deal. Sami Zayn beat The Miz, uh, although no interference in this one. Miz uh, losing with the haluva kick that Zayn hit to him. So now it's a four-way as everyone expected for Extreme Rules. Becky Lynch was interviewed backstage about Emma's attack from the prior week week and Emma then approached her and it led to the debut of Dana Brooke who attacked Becky from behind and is our latest NXT call up. Uh, we got a Darren Young, uh, Bob Backlund video. Rusev and Sin Cara was the next one. This was the one I did not enjoy way where Lana distracted the ref and this prompted Kalisto to interfere and led to Sin Cara beating Rusev to build up the US title match not involving Sin Cara. I thought it was rather unnecessary for Rusev to lose here considering he, he needs some rehabbing right now. Uh, elimination match. It was Roman Reigns and the Usos defeating AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows by DQ. This was largely set up as a post-match attack and stare down with Reigns and Styles, but certainly Styles uh, playing subtle heel throughout this. Owens beat Zack Ryder clean, and then we go to the main event. It was no match, in fact, because Jericho was attacked as he was making his entrance by Dean Ambrose, stole the jacket, destroyed the jacket, and then Big Cass bounced Jericho around. He was laid out with the dirty deeds, and it was Dean Ambrose and Big Cass who were kind of put in the big main event spotlight roles, the two big baby faces. I thought the visual of uh, Ambrose revealing himself looked really good, and it seems like they do have big plans for a big cast coming up. And that wraps up Raw in three minutes.